I'm Mark O'Shea, a zoologist with personal experience of thousands of snakes. Hold it. I've got him! None of them has struck me as intelligent. Nice little cobra. But I've never met a king cobra in the wild. What will I think when I look deep into the eyes of the snake that's become a national icon? First, fully charged, perfectly healthy, undamaged, wild Russell's Viper for our anti-venom program. Look at this snake, it looks like a carpet. You'd think, how could that possibly ever be camouflage? Could you see him in there? I had to look hard. It's coming up towards dusk. This is a nocturnal snake. This is when it comes out hunting. This is when people meet them on the roads. And if you're not carrying a torch and you're walking barefoot, this is when you get bitten by what is arguably one of the most, if not the most dangerous snake in the world, and certainly the most dangerous snake in Sri Lanka. And I want you to do that. It's safe to handle, but can promise make herself hold the scorpion. Excellent. That's very good. Okay. All right? Okay. 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 You've done excellent. Are you pleased with yourself? Yeah. Is that it? Listen. No bird song. In a forest. The reason? A snake that shouldn't even be here. The brown tree snake. I've come to Guam to see how one species of snake has had such a devastating effect on the native wildlife and to see if there are any possible solutions to what appears to be an ecological disaster. These crocodiles are, are much smaller than your typical Nile crocodile of tropical Africa because crocodiles are limited in their size by where they live. There's no point in a crocodile outgrowing a pool like this and having to move. They grow to a certain size and seem to stop. Even if these are under half the size of normal Nile crocs, they still share the same watery adaptations. So catch a croc. Well, what you've got to do here, Graham, Yes. slip that over the head and give a good yank on that. Right. <laughs> I've never heard those words before. If we can find a suitable sea snake that can survive in captivity, venom research will become a whole lot easier. Fortunately, their fangs are too short to go through a wetsuit. We already have specimens of both these species, so they can go swimming. Voila! Come <laughs> on. on, chaps. Cool. As we approach from the front, officers encircle the building. Cobra. Rat snake racer. These are protected species. It doesn't really matter whether you like snakes or not. You've got to find this repulsive. This is very sad. King Cobra. This is the king of snakes. And to wind up semi-frozen in a bag, destined for the skin trade, is not the way the king should wind up at all. But this King Cobra is looking back at me and it's almost as if there are conscious thoughts going on. She's gauging things. 
This is really quite an um, incredible experience. Just never felt this sort of, um, well, communing with another, with, you know, a snake in the past. I can't scientifically prove it, but I'm sure this king recognizes me. Kings are easily stressed, and this one has more than earned her freedom. I'm releasing her as soon as possible.